Coming up on Crossfire Collectibles, the Planet Green Valley, female body, figure one. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video, I'm going to be unpacking and reviewing the Planet Green Valley, female body, figure one from Oying Studio. So if anybody collects the Planet Green Valley figures, you know that the female body figures are very difficult to come by. Um, every once in a while, they'll pop up, and once they're gone, the prices skyrocket. These figures fetch, I believe, anywhere between $100 to $150 if you look around on eBay for them. But luckily enough, every now and then, some will pop up back in stock on AliExpress, and I managed to grab a few. So, uh, pretty happy with it. Um, I mainly wanted it for the heads and the clothing. Um, the additional female body is always a plus, but we got it. We're going to get it open and check it out. Uh, before we get into that, I just want to show we did grab a couple others because, you know, the prices were right. And before they're gone, you know, I might as well spend what I have. So, I don't lose a ton later on other figures. But uh, we did pick up this EFS Blue Wing Group Tanya. And female body too so basically the same figure just uh, different color accessories and some different heads but apart from those we have this and let's check out the packaging so at the top you have wing studio planet green valley female body here's the figure the two heads all the accessories there's also an extra baggie of accessories up in there around to the back you have a little bio, hold it in close. Go ahead and pause it if you'd like to read it. And that's pretty much it. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and cut this tape, get her opened. But first, please subscribe to the channel. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give this tape a little slice here. And right here. So that should do it. And then we can slide the card out. Just like that. Pretty cool. Put that all to the side. Here's the uh, extra bag of accessories in here. We'll go over all of them so we can see them. And then pop out the insert and lose half the accessories while we're at it. But it's okay. We'll get that out. And then I'll show off what's left of the plastic dungeon. So I guess first we'll go ahead and just get out the accessories of all the figure two. Put that to the side. And um, let's check out everything first. So you have this kind of beige dress, which is pretty nice. Here you have some underwear. You have a short top. And then you have a couple more tops, kind of more of a string shoulder style top right here. And then a little bit thicker with a little V-neck or top button popped, whichever. Oh, pretty neat. Uh, she also has this gray skirt. And then here you have, I guess you would call this some stockings, maybe some high socks. So they're pretty cool. Here you have an extra set of hands. You have some grip hands with all fingers attached. There are some hinges at the wrist for inward and outward motions. And you have a pair of black shoes. Uh, for the secondary head, you have this one right here, which is uncolored hair. The face is painted on it. There's the uh, ball joint up inside there. Uh, I have some ideas for a custom I can use with one of these heads. Because we bring the figure in, they're pretty close. They're not identical, but they're they're very close. Uh, this one has bangs. This one, the hair is more longer and around. So it comes down the side and this hair is painted. Plus her ears exposed. So pretty cool. 
and then we'll put her back down and go over the secondary bag of accessories. Get all those goodies dumped out. And here you have another skirt. Gray just like the other, but there is a little difference in it. You have this piece here, which I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a scarf or if that actually goes around her waist. Uh, we'll have to check it out because I'm not 100% sure. This, now this is definitely a scarf, so that'll go around her neck at the top. You have this little pouch or satchel without the uh, strap. They're pretty neat. And then one more bag of accessories here. And here you have her rifle. Also has that kind of beige color. Pretty cool. You see a lot of holes and grooves areas where you can put the attachments that it comes with. It's a bit shiny. You know, so they use definitely some glossy plastic. But the gun itself looks good. You have some attachment pieces here. Like you have, there's very small little scope in black. Got this extra piece right here. Little sight. You have this, I think it's a little uh, calm or walkie talkie right here. No detail on it as far as uh, pictures or other colors go, but you can see like there's a button on the front, little screen up here, uh, some small antennas or, you know, button knobs that you turn. And you have a pair of magazines. So you have that beige one right here. And you have this black one right here. Very small. Like if we were to go ahead and pop one in, that's how it would look. I like that, it looks pretty good. Or you can pop in the other. Spin it around this way. There you go. And then if you want to uh, put these attachments on, you can. And it'll pop in like that. And you flip this around and you can get this little scope here. Uh, I don't know why it would be on the side. Could pop it in right there. Could be a red light as well. Uh, that looks pretty cool. So yeah, loaded with accessories like they normally are. And put everything back right here so you all can see it in a shot. And then we'll bring the figure out. I'll show you some articulation. Heads on the ball joint. Can rotate a full 360. Moves down pretty far. And it's kind of stuck. It doesn't go much further up than straight up. Has some side to side tiltage. Hinge at the shoulders. Arm can go up that far. It can rotate a full 360. Uh, there's a hinge at the elbow. So you can get the arm up about that far. And down at the hands, you have the hinge peg to allow the full 360. And these hands will move up and down. So I think I'm going to keep these ones on because they are trigger fingers and they do have the separation in between the uh, index and middle fingers. But for the sake of the video as always, I'm going to go ahead and just plug in one of the others just to show you the, uh, the ease of doing it. And there you go, that's the other one. But I'm not going to use those, so I'll get that out of here. And pop our trigger finger hand back on. Uh, mid torso, you have some rotation, a little bit of a little bit of side to side movement. It will separate, and we'll get to that. Uh, down at the waist, you have a little bit of swivel and some rocking forward and backward, and not much side to side. Down at the legs, you have that ball joint. Got a lot of legs to go forward that far, to the side that far, and back about that far. There's thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and a hinge peg at the ankle, so the foot can go forward that far, up that far, and side to side. So like the other Planet Green Valley figure, I think we only reviewed one, but we do have a few. Great articulation, the figures are awesome, they're well made, and uh, if you don't have any, you're missing out, especially if you're a 1 in 118 scale collector. Um, do I want to do the dress? No, I don't think so. So we're going to go ahead and separate the figure. 
So we just pop that ball joint out from here. And let's go with this shirt. Take that off. So the arms are a little too tight for me. So I don't feel like heating it up. So we're just gonna slide the arms down with those shoulder straps, pop them over and then just pop that upper torso right on down in there so it fits on. So pretty cool, cover the bosoms. Um, if we go in here, this should be pretty simple. We'll slide these underwear on. All right, so the side straps kind of get caught in the joints a bit and a little difficult to get up over the butt. Uh, got it on. Cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and give her one of these mini skirts. Pop that on right there. And then we can uh, reattach the torso. So we got the figure back together. And we're going to move down to the feet. And we'll go ahead and uh, pop these feet off. So the bare feet. And they look pretty good too. They look close. Actually, have some detail on the toes. Uh, we get them off and we'll go ahead and uh, slide on these like socks stockings one or the other whichever they are slide them up to about here and we'll get our little black shoes and just pop that peg right into the hole in the shoe like that looks all right i guess do the same for the other leg. Slide that stocking on. And then get that peg into that foot. Now I do recommend warming these up before you do this. Um, the pegs can break and you really don't want to go, you know, wasting your money on a figure when you have broken pegs on it. Because you'd have to go on replacing the piece and it's just a pain in the ass, and these aren't the figures that you really want to, you know, go breaking and wasting money on. They can run a little bit, a little bit of money. All right, so with that, we'll go ahead and check these top pieces out. So yeah, I guess that could be kind of a big old, you know, roughed scarf around her neck. Yeah, so a little much if you ask me, but it works with the figure. So I think we'll just do that. Um, not going to do too much with it. I did have some ideas for some customs for these parts, but I did want to get one open at least and check it out. So we'll go ahead and just gear her up. Um, I don't know where this is going to go. There's no additional peg to pluck into that, so we can put it into her back. Um, I don't know if you could use those head ball joints or not. It's possible. I don't know if that would actually fit in there, but it's okay. It's not a big deal for this video. But we will gear her up with the rifle. Slide that into her hand. Race around, get that finger up to that trigger guard. Like that. Bend this arm around to see how, how well she can hold it. Maybe something like that. And I'm going to give her the, uh, the black magazine. So I think it looks pretty slick. So we got that popped up in there. She has to stand on her own. Pretty good. All right. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and give her a stand anyway. We'll get everything together, throw it up onto the turntable, and we'll give you some final thoughts. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. All right. So here you have it. The Planet Green Valley. Female body. Figure one from Ol Ying Studio. Very cool figure. Nice figure, especially if you're under customs. Um, even if you want to just customize your own figure with all the parts that this comes with. I mean, you get several changes of clothes, all the extra accessories, uh, the weapon that you can customize yourself, um, extra head in case you want to get two bodies in case the others are sold out, you never know. Uh, extra hands, you got the extra feet. The figure's loaded and it's very cool. I just, I love that the durability of them, I mean, they just seem so well made and they're awesome. That's probably why they're so expensive, you know, apart from them being uh, limited quantities that are even made. But once they pop up, like I said, if you don't get them, you know, they're gone and they might be gone forever. You never know. 
Uh, we have an extra bag of accessories here. I could have thrown some extra stuff on to, just to check it out, but we got them aside and maybe we can do something with this off camera just to get some ideas later on. But uh, it's, it's still cool. These figures, there's so many possibilities and I'm very happy with them. But um, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please, like always, leave a giant thumbs up, subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media. We'll be back this week with quite a few G.I. Joe videos, so be sure to tune in. And until then, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.